Hi everyone, this is Heather Lautenden from the Flourish Academy where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to change the color of clothing inside of Photoshop. But first, please check out our sponsor, ymcamera.com for all of your photography needs. And if you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe, leave a comment and share with your photographer friends because it helps us to produce more content. In a previous video, we changed the color of the green stripe on her dress on the image on the left inside of Lightroom, but we had to make an individual selection to do that, which can be a little bit time consuming, especially considering that her dress has multiple green stripes. Now I chose the image on the right for a reason. I wanted to have more area to work with. So if you're interested, make sure you check out the previous video in Lightroom. But the goal here is to compare which one of these is easier or more efficient. They both can do it, but they do it in slightly different ways. I'm going to begin by choosing a hue saturation adjustment layer at the bottom of the layers palette. If you're feeling overwhelmed with Photoshop, by the way, I understand there's a lot to learn. Make sure you check out all of our free resources at flourish.academy slash Photoshop. Next, I am going to click this hand so that I can make a selection of this green color. And I'm just going to somewhat randomly click. Now I'm not clicking in a super dark area and I'm also not clicking on a super highlighted area. So somewhere in the mid tones. And I noticed that Photoshop thinks that this is cyan. Well, Photoshop is probably smarter than me when it comes to color selection. So I am going to go with it. Next, I am going to map this green to a different color using the hue slider. And I, I would think you would be pretty amazed and surprised by how easy this is. I did not have to make any type of manual selection here. Now, of course, it depends on the image and the colors are in the image. And we've done this in several previous videos where we've changed the color of clothing. But in this instance, I find it extraordinarily easy. I just had to select the color and then move the hue to a different color. You could also adjust the saturation. So in this case, I have this purple color that looks ridiculous when it's too saturated. So you probably want to pull that down. You can also make this a little bit lighter or darker depending on your preference. Now, one thing that can happen is that Photoshop grabs some color in the background. So let's turn this on or off and see. I actually don't notice anything happening to this background, but if it did, this comes with a layer mask and you could select the brush tool, Make sure that it's black and then brush out any areas you don't wish to make this adjustment. I recognize that this was a very simple image to work on. Again, you can search our channel for more videos on more complex selections. But if we are comparing this image to the previous video inside of Lightroom, well, I've got to say, <laughs> for the, maybe the first time ever. It was much faster and more efficient inside of Photoshop because I did not have to zoom in and make these really individualized selections. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.